In this video, we're going to be using the Sudsy Soapery White Sage and Lime and the Pearl Flexi Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. We have a good one for you today. It's been a long time since I've used the Sudsy Soapery, and this one is white sage and lime. And this comes to you for $17.49 for 5.5 ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a good price of $3.18 per ounce. Very nice scent on the soap. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. What I get is a nice woody citrus scent, and I like it a lot. Scent strength is right at that medium level. Very nice indeed. This is a vegetal base soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. I don't see any tallow in it, but I also see things like lanolin, so it's not vegan, uh, vegetal, and I got a really nice lather with it. It fluffed up on me a little at first, but I whipped some water into it, and I think we got a very good lather uh, with this today. And don't forget, if you pick this up at the Razor Company, which I did, use promo code IMCDB, and it helps the channel, so thank you so much uh, if you do. And it also helps you all, the viewers, because at least half of that affiliate income goes to gift cards for the channel, so thank you so much if you do that. The razor for today is the Pearl Flexi, which is made in India. It is an adjustable razor, and it tends to run between 70 and 80 US dollars. I have enjoyed using this razor so far. It was sent to me by the inspector from the inspector's den, my good friend, and I've really enjoyed it so far. It's a nice, smooth shaver. It's a little bit heavy because it's all brass, but it's very, very smooth, and I've enjoyed it. So I'm going to start today. We'll dial it up on setting three there and then we'll work our way to six on the second pass so just two passes today and let's just get into it i hope you're all having a, an exceptional day so far the brush for today is the maritime shave co brush and let's get our lather out it's been sitting here for a minute minute excuse me and uh, mix that up just a little bit and I think we got a pretty nice lather out of this today. And the scent is really, really nice. You know, I like citrus woods. And so this was right on time for me. And it's been years and years since I've used the Sudsy Soapery. So I saw this at the razor company. And I think I've used it before. Probably gave it away or something. I don't remember. But anyway, I said, let's give it a go. And I do like the scent on this. It's very nice. Like, again, to me, it's a citrus wood which I think is an excellent combo, and I tend to like that when I get it in a soap, scent-wise. And so, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, that is not bad at all. Feeling good. And I hope you're having a great day again so far. And we hope to start our day out with a great shave today. And I don't see any reason why it can't be, because we've got good gear, we've got good viewers, so thank you so much. And let's cut this back on the neck just a little bit. The wrist is healing. It's slow, but it's healing. I don't have full use of it yet, but it's getting better. So I think we're, I think we're doing pretty well on that, but we just have to keep an eye on it and not push it and try to do anything heavy with it. But otherwise, I think we're doing okay. So that's, that's really a blessing. All right, so let's get started here on three with the flexi. And so this Flexi is based on the old uh, Gibbs adjustable design. Very heavy build on this razor, as I said before. Uh, and there are a number of razors that are built based on the Gibbs designs. The most uh, commonly compared one is the Ambassador. This razor is much smoother to me than the Ambassador. Um, however, the Ambassador is probably a little more efficient, at least on the upper settings. But this one is nice and smooth. The fit and finish on the Ambassador is obviously better. It costs a lot more. Um, but in terms of the shave, this one is a very good... I have found it to be a very capable shaver and a nice razor overall. And I have enjoyed using it so far quite a bit. Uh, and honestly, I was sort of skeptical before I used it. I was like, ah, I saw they had sort of a lot of QC problems early on. and. Uh, 
I just wondered if I ever, you know, got one, if it would be wonky, and it's not. Uh, I would say the only thing of concern for this razor, if you're someone who just doesn't like heft, so if you like the weight of titanium razors and aluminum, this one might be too heavy for you, so just take that into consideration. This is a heavy beast of a razor right here. <laughs> but, but a very capable uh, shaver. And that's always what we're looking for in a razor primarily is, you know, how does it allow you to shave? And most razors do a pretty good job on that. I know, I know we prefer some to others, but uh, most are pretty good these days. And this one is no exception, it's a good razor. So the soaps, or the soap I should say, only I'm, I'm only using one soap today. The soap so far, very nice, getting good slickness. And like I said, I'm not sure how old this formula is, but in some of the older formulas, they tend to fluff up at first. You keep working hydration in them and you get a nice creamy lather. And honestly, I use, you know, I use a lot of different soaps on the channel here, uh, from inexpensive to expensive. And in terms of slickness, I don't ever notice much of a difference at all in slickness. Because slickness in a soap, assuming you have a decent quality soap, is really more about the way you lather it than the soap itself. Uh, I will stick by that. I stand by that. Uh, because, you know, I've done this long enough to know if you get a soap that is a good quality soap and you lather it well, uh, you'll have uh, good slickness. Uh, if you don't lather it well, you won't. It's as simple as that. So I think a lot of times we blame our equipment when really we should be pointing squarely at ourselves. And I have been guilty of that myself early on. You know, going through razors, getting rid of razors quickly. This isn't a good razor, you know. And I'm like, no, I wasn't a good shaver. It's really what it was. So keep that in mind because I'm telling you, we've got a very nice lather here today. Despite it being just a little bit fluffy at first. So... If you work on it and sort of get that lathering technique down and make the kind of lather that you want to make. And if you like a fluffy lather and it works well, then go with it. Don't worry about what anybody else says about it. In this hobby and many hobbies, you know, we tend to, many people focus on the way things look and, you know, the pictures on Instagram and all. And that's fun. I mean, I used to, you know, make the lather photos for Instagram for fun. It just became too much to do when I had everything I have to do now. But... I just did it for fun, but quite honestly, you don't need that. I mean, it's not required. And so one of the things I've tried to be more mindful of recently is new folks who are coming in every single day. And that's our goal as hobbyists, to bring other people to the hobby and have them enjoying it and spending money in our hobby's economy. And when we overcomplicate things by making it seem like a jujitsu level effort, that's probably not advantageous. So. I don't want to lead anybody believe you have to have the super creamy lather to get a great shake because you do not. You do not. Because for a, quite a number of years and in my old throwback videos, you'll see it. I used to make a rather pasty lather and my shapes were perfect most of the time. So, <clears throat> so if you're new, don't beat yourself up over the lather. Um, just make a good lather that works well for you and go with it and don't worry too much about what others have to say. All right. On pass two, we will go up to six there. As you can see it, there's a nice red dot there where you can see that. And we will finish out strong, hopefully, with this pass. The blade today is, as always, is the Gillette Nasset blade. Super smooth, super nice cutting very efficiently and effectively. And that's what you want from your razor. Like I said, good razor, good soap. Really like the way this soap smells too. A nice citrus wood, which is something that I just tend to like. So it's perfect for me. And I'm pretty sure I had this soap years ago, probably five, six years ago. There comes a time, folks, where you've done it long enough to where you don't even remember what you've used. You know, <laughs> it's just time flies and you've been through so many things. And, you know, when you go through so many, of those things, one of the things you just learn is, hey, you know, we as hobbyists, sometimes we uh, we overdo it a little bit, talking about all these ingredients. And for me, speaking only for me, half of which are not necessary in the soaps, especially when they escalate the price. So, um, 
what tends to happen is I was having a conversation with some gents the other day and one was just using razor rock essential oil of lime for a number of days in a row or uh, body shop maca root a number of days in a row and what he said was this is good stuff I can't believe how good this you know rather simple stuff is I didn't miss anything and I'm like yeah that's pretty much the way it is when you're in the throes of the hobby you know you want to try everything new you're looking for the holy grail product so to speak and it turns out that there are many many holy grails <laughs> like everything's pretty good really when it comes down to it so my advice is just enjoy it don't worry about what the best is and those arguments about what's best you know because there are so many great choices it doesn't really matter um, just find something that you really like and go with it or find many things that you like you don't really have to narrow it down to one best or five best. And to me, the tiering lists and all that are just completely subjective and irrelevant, to be honest. Um, just like the top cent list that I make, but um, it really doesn't mean much, quite honestly. It's just my favorites and other people's favorites, but people get really hung up on that tier list. Oh, this is the best quality of soap. I'm like, get out of here. There's plenty of great soaps, you know. <laughs> it's just... There's so many great soaps, I could throw a rock out the window and hit an artisan, truth be told. So, But people, you know, they lock into almost mortal combat on, my tier list is number one. And I'm like, get out of here with that. That's nonsense. <laughs> I'm just telling you the way it is, folks. You know, at a certain point in time, you just realize, after you've been doing this for a long time, you've been through well over a thousand soaps, you're like, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> so that's my advice to you people. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging. So super smooth shape, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with the Sudsy Soapery White Sage and Lime. And I really enjoyed this nice woody scent. I had to work the lather a little bit to get it creamy, but it was very nice indeed. And don't forget, if you pick this up at the Razor Company, use promo code IMCDB and it helps the channel. Thank you so much if you do. We also used today the Pearl Flexi, which is a nice, inexpensive, capable razor. The only people that I would sort of caution about this razor is folks who don't like hefty razors because this one is hefty and a little bulky but otherwise a very nice smooth shaver and I enjoyed it very much and the blade was Gillette Nasset. We used our Maritime Brush Co. brush and it's on our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug and we shall finish it out today with the Wet the Face, the Quiet Man complete with the floaties and remember folks uh, try not when you're enjoying the hobby to chase the greatest based on what other people say. Just try things for yourself and see how you feel about it. And that goes for my channel too. Just because I love something doesn't mean you will. It doesn't mean it's the best. Try it for yourself. Make up your own mind and don't let people fill your mind with a bunch of nonsense like you know we often see. Just make up your own decisions. But first and foremost, enjoy the hobby. Enjoy the ride. And uh, just know there's a lot of great stuff out there. So you can pretty much throw a rock and hit an artisan and get a great soap. Just enjoy the experience and spend less time arguing and battling with people. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.